This tutorial will show you how to set up the web interface features of Express Invoice. The web interface, or the web access feature, can be accessed online from any location, including from any computer or mobile device with internet access. Using this feature is helpful for businesses that need to give multiple users within a business access to the same data, or for businesses that need to access data and create invoices while on the road. First, you need to prepare a web account so you can access Express Invoice through a browser. To do this, click on the Options icon in the toolbar and click on the Web Accounts tab. Click Add to create a new user account. Enter a display name, an email address, and a password for yourself. Make sure the Account Enabled checkbox is checked and then give yourself Administrator User Privileges which gives you full access to the web interface with the ability to manage other users, to create and send invoices, and to view all reports. You may want to limit the access you give to other users when setting up their accounts later on. Click OK to finish. Now click the Web Access tab of the Options window. Click the Start button to activate the server so you can access it from a browser. The server must always be started in order to have access to it from remote locations. You may see messages asking you to click unblock or allow if your computer prompts you for access. Make sure you do this, or Express Invoice will not be available at other computers. Once the server is started, determine if you will be accessing Express Invoice on a local network or a public network. For a local network, create user accounts for each person as described earlier, then share the link shown for the local network here and when they log into the web interface, they will be able to access Express Invoice from their own computers. If you will be accessing Express Invoice from a public network, such as the internet, you must ensure the routing section of this window does not show a red status error. If it does, you will need to resolve the error before Express Invoice will be available from the internet. This most likely will involve forwarding port 96 through your router and firewalls throughout your system. For help doing this, click the link that says Help to Resolve This Issue in the Routing section. There, you will find a series of tutorials aimed at troubleshooting your connection problems. If the routing status is green, Express Invoice will be available to other users when they paste the network access link into a browser and log in with the user account information that you have set up. To access the web interface, you can use the links provided on the Web Access tab of the Options dialog, or click the Web Access icon in the toolbar. This will open up a browser window where you'll be prompted to enter your account details to log in. You can use the same link to gain access to the web access of Express Invoice from your mobile phone. Once you're logged in, you'll be on the main page of the web interface. From here, you can do the same tasks as you can do in the main interface of Express Invoice. Create invoices, create quotes and orders for your customers, create purchase orders, enter payments, manage inventory, customers, and supplier lists, and view reports. Click on the Invoices link. This opens up the Invoices list. From here, you'll see tabs to view all your recorded invoices, draft invoices, all invoices, and recurring invoices. Click the Add New Invoice button on any of the first three tabs to create a new invoice. The formatting for creating invoices is different from Express Invoice's main interface, but if you fill out the pertinent information from top to bottom, you'll find the web interface is straightforward to use. As soon as you record a new invoice, Express Invoice will reflect the changes to all users on all interfaces. Click the main link in the upper right corner to return to the web interface main page. Now click on the Payments link. This opens the Payments list. From here, you'll see a list of all payments received from customers. You can search for payments using the boxes at the top, and you can also apply new payments by clicking the Apply Payment button. Remember, Express Invoice works on an account basis, so payments are made toward a customer's account, not toward individual invoices. Use the reference number to create a soft reference to invoices. Back on the main screen, click on the Reports link to open the Reports list. 
you'll see a list of all the kinds of reports available in Express Invoice. Clicking on any of these links will generate a PDF of the report for the time period you specify. And that's how you use the web interface of Express Invoice. Feel free to explore all the functions as you use them in the main interface, and enjoy the access you have to your data, no matter where you're at. For more business software solutions from NCH Software, visit the address shown on your screen.